This is how you can create an endless stream of visual concepts for your next t-shirt graphic. Today we're going to use Iron Maiden as an example and harnessing the power of AI will allow us to create brand new t-shirt design concepts based on their overall aesthetic. Let's just get into it and I'll show you exactly what I mean. I think this is going to help out a lot with the brainstorming part of the creative design process. A lot of times you can get stuck just trying to conceptualize new ideas for a project and this might be a nice little hack. So we're in chat GPT and I'm going to type out Please give me 10 new t-shirt ideas for Iron Maiden. These need to maintain the visual legacy of the band and its overall branding. All right, simple enough. Let's just see what it comes up with. Now I guarantee you that some of these are gonna be a little bit corny, um, but we're just gonna run with you know, the best idea that it comes up with. Hopefully it comes up with a few. Okay, so these are decent, but I'm just gonna type, can you make them more badass? <laughs> now let's see what it comes up with. Okay, now we're talking. I can already tell these are way better. So we're definitely gonna go with number four, Cathedral of the Damned. Eddie looms large as a gargoyle over a dark brooding cathedral with the band's logo illuminated by lightning strikes. That's fire. There's a few gnarly concepts here, but let's go with this one. All right, so I'm going to copy this text. So the next step is going to Google Images and I just searched Iron Maiden shirt. Now the goal of this is to find an overall layout um, in terms of you know logo placement, the colors, everything like that. Just finding one that you like and you can literally try as many as you want. But just to start off with, I'm gonna go with a pretty classic example of an Iron Maiden t-shirt. So we're looking at this one right here. It's got the logo on top. It's got Eddie prominently featured. It doesn't have a ton of bells and whistles, but it has a pretty solid like starting point. So I'm gonna screenshot the design not the whole t-shirt, just the design part. And then I'm gonna jump over into playgroundai.com and drag it to this image to image section. If you're not familiar with playgroundai.com, just find an, a video on YouTube that talks about it because I don't wanna get into the weeds. It's basically just another website that, that allows you to generate AI graphics. We'll just go over the basics of what you would need to use this strategy. So you drag it over to this image to image section, which is under canvas. And then on image strength, if you go to 100, it would essentially just regenerate the same design and that's not what we want. So we're gonna bring this all the way down to 10 and we're not gonna play with filter. We're not gonna add anything here. We're not gonna expand the prompt, but we are going to exclude distorted fingers and faces. And again, this is something else that you can play around with, but I've just found that this is like useful so that you don't end up with super crazy looking stuff, right? So from here, I'm gonna jump into the generation frame and I'm just gonna change the, the layout a little bit so it's closer to a standard t-shirt design size. And I'm gonna paste in what we got from ChatGPT. Now I'm gonna have to make a few edits on this because this you know program, Playground AI, is not gonna know who Eddie is unless I type out Iron Maiden Eddie. And so now it's gonna have a better idea of what I'm talking about, but everything else should be good. Over in the right-hand side, you'll see number of images. I'm gonna select three and then just click generate and see what it comes up with. Okay, so <laughs> right off the bat, if you just blur your eyes and you pretended that you were you know, in a retail store selling band merch, these would look like Iron Maiden t-shirts, right? So essentially what I'm getting at here is that this is gonna allow you to generate tons of new ideas for layouts. So already like, this is great as it is, but you can just keep gener generating more and basically start to piece together different compositions and ideas that you could use to build out a brand new t-shirt design. So if I was an art director, I would take advantage of this so that I could more clearly explain what I'm going for in a graphic, right? So, you know, I could say, all right, in instead of typing out this whole thing, all right, like look at this one in the middle, like this doesn't look like anything like these, but it's already a brand new idea. I wouldn't go too crazy and like 
generate 20 different ideas because I think you're just going to get lost in the sauce. But if you just looked at these and said, all right, it would be badass if he was looming over the cathedral like this. But then like, I don't know, there was like a bigger burst behind his head like this one or like at the bottom, like it'd be cooler if there was like a scene like this, right? Where there's actually like another figure down here and there's like these bushes. You can see the entrance to the cathedral, like things like that, right? If you like what you're seeing in this video, please take one second and hit that subscribe button. It would truly mean the world to me, despite having millions of views on these videos, which is amazing in its own right. Most of the people who watch are not subscribed and that's a bummer, so please, Take a second, subscribe. Now back to the video. So let's try another one. Eddie ruling over a dystopian sci-fi landscape, yielding cosmic power with a backdrop of exploding stars and black holes. So we'll paste it in here. Again, Iron Maiden Eddie, that should be it. So this is better, but again, like this, <laughs> this wouldn't pass for an Iron Maiden design. You'd have to like remove the mask and make sure everyone knew that this was Eddie. You know, like here you can tell a little bit more. Let's try to generate some more off of this. I think that what's coolest about this is it gives you new ideas for like framing the design, right? This is more of what I'm talking about. Like what if it was this Eddie with this kind of pose, but he was standing on, you know, a spaceship like this, but then like it was in, you know, space that looked more like this. I just find this very interesting. It just gets my gears turning a lot faster than just kind of spinning my wheels trying to figure out like, okay, what would be a, a cool brand new concept for Iron Maiden? It's using AI more as a tool and less as a replacement, which I feel like so many people have tried to do. And I think that this is a much better approach where you're enhancing the creative aspects of design instead of um, completely obliterating them or like replacing them entirely. So we are truly in the top of the first inning when it comes to this AI revolution. I have no idea where this is gonna go. For now, I'm just using AI primarily to help speed up my workflow. If there's ways that I can enhance my own creativity, I'm all about it, then I can spend more time, I don't know, outside touching grass. Be sure to subscribe and comment below. I would love to hear your thoughts on where you think AI is going, especially when it comes to creating t-shirt graphics. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.